to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mary and I'm so happy to have you here for today's video. This is the last Friday video. Wait, is this the last Friday video of the year? Hold on. How do I not? No, this is not the last Friday. This is one of the last Friday videos of the year and I'm really happy to have you guys here with me rolling into the new year. And since we are about to be in a new year, I thought what better time to have a magical creation box video than now. Uh, I think this is my third time doing a magical creation box video on this channel. So basically like the idea is, I think it's like Esther Hicks who came up with this, but you make a box or you get a box, you don't have to make a box, but you put a sign on it that says whatever is contained in this box is, and my handwriting is terrible, but you know, deal with it. And you just write on like little single sheets of paper, things that you are manifesting. And by placing them in the box, it means that they are. So every year at the start of the new year, I put together like all the things that I'm manifesting for that year and I put them in the box. And then I do kind of an unboxing at the end of the year on this channel to see which of my manifest, which of my manifestations that I get exactly, which ones did I get more than, and which ones maybe you're getting rolled over into the new year. So um, I never take stuff out of here. I just don't. So there's gonna be some old things in here and that is okay too. But just wanna, I don't know, un look at it look at it together. And, and it's always fun to see like what kind of things have unfolded in real time. Um, wow, this is old. Maybe I should start taking stuff out of here because this is from when Derek and I, my SP, now my husband, had just gotten back together and he's in the military and I wanted us to get stationed in Washington. And um, we ended up staying here. We could go actually go to Washington right now if we wanted to, but I wanna stay here in San Diego. Um, but I have been traveling to Washington a lot for work. So partial manifestation, that's going in the partial manifestation file, pile. Um, this one is in progress, but I have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I think this time last year I had like four or 5,000 subscribers. So now we're like over 12,000, well on our way to that 100K mark. And I'm so excited for that. So that's in the like partial manifestation because it's on the way. I have a best selling book. I'm going to be honest, you guys. My intent for 2023 was to write a book, and I just haven't. I have been busy. I, I need to make time for it. I feel like I have a lot of really cool things to say and things that would benefit a lot of people. So maybe I need to actually hold myself accountable to my manifestation, like I tell you guys, and do the work, write the freaking book. So I'm gonna put this in the in the I don't have pile because I have not done anything to actually make it happen. So that'll be something I hold myself accountable to next year. Oh, this one. I am a good mom. So I am manifesting motherhood. I am manifesting children. And I think the reason I like started, this is one of my affirmations actually, is I am a good mom. And the reason I started saying that is because I do have some mommy issues due to childhood trauma. And I realized that those mommy issues might be holding me back a little bit of like almost being afraid that I won't be a good mom. And I like logically I know that I will, but emotionally, I know that there's some fear there that maybe I wouldn't be a good mother. And so um, I've been affirming for it and I put it in the box and um, I'm excited to prove myself right on this. Like I'm really excited for that. Uh, we made a million dollars this year. Not quite exactly. I'm not gonna say how much money I made, you know, but you know, we did, we did good this year. We had a good year. Um, one of my goals is to make like a million dollars a year. I don't care how it happens. I just want it to happen probably through my freaking book deal. Um, so I'll put this in the, I didn't manifest a pile, even though like, you know, it's, we manifested money, just not a million dollars that we're not off to a good start, but we're going to get some good ones. You guys, <laughs> this is where like, I don't bullshit you guys. I'm never going to like lie to y'all. So it's like, if I didn't get it, I didn't get it, you know, but, but we carry on, we persist on oh, this one. Our marriage is healthy and strong. This is one of my affirmations. You know, I just, I think that my past, I have so many, like in the, in the old story, like so many wounds and limiting beliefs that once we got back together and got engaged and got married, you know, two and a half years ago, we got married. 
um, I still had these fears of like, but what if like, it's like, it's like basically like my, my fears were constantly trying to evolve even when my 3d was proving them wrong. So it was like, what if we don't get back together? And then we did. And it's like, but what if he didn't mean it? What if he doesn't propose? And then he proposed, but what if he doesn't actually marry you? And then he married me. And then my, you know, subconscious, my living beliefs is like, but what if it doesn't stick? And so um, to address those limiting beliefs, I've been doing self-concept work. And one of those affirmations is our marriage is healthy and strong. And I also love the, um, the affirmation, our love grows deeper every day. Our marriage grows stronger every day. Not that it's not, not that our marriage is weak, not that, you know, our, our marriage is not healthy, but this is more for me than it is for him because my own limiting beliefs will self-sabotage me if I don't hold them in check. So this is my way of holding them in check. So this is like a complete manifestation. He is my best friend and um, just the, the, the most perfect partner that I could spend this life with. So I'm really grateful for that. Okay, so this is from like when we had just gotten back together, but Derek is always posting me on his social media. That, that was like one of my limiting beliefs and my fears was that like, he was ashamed of me or he wouldn't like, I don't, I don't know. I just like, I wanted him to be proud to be with me. So I like, I put this in the box, like literally like three years ago. Um, and he did post me on his social media a lot. And then he deleted his social media. He was just like, I don't want to do this anymore. And you guys talk about a green flag, a man who's not on social media, chef's kiss. Not that a man who's on social media is a red flag, but you guys know what I'm saying. I, I like that he's not on social media. If it wasn't for me like having YouTube and this like business, I probably wouldn't be either because it's just soul sucking sometimes. Um, we love each other more than ever before. And that is a complete and full manifestation. We've talked about this, about how like we started dating almost six years ago and you know like whenever you first start dating someone and you have this like puppy love and this like initial infatuation and then over time it kind of like wanes and fades ours hasn't like we truly do love each other more every day like the cliched saying i love you more than yesterday but less than tomorrow like that is our marriage so that is a full manifestation oh here's what's funny i'm not going to show this well i could probably do this it shows the name of my old company. Well, no, I'm not going to show it because I don't know how I'm going to pull your book. There's a salary on here where I wrote like the name of my old company and the salary that I wanted. You guys know I, 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 my background is entirely in tech, like the tech industry. And I wrote on there a very specific salary. And this was just from last year. And I will say that I have exceeded the salary. I actually started a new job entirely and I exceeded the salary and then some by what I don't even know like what, like double digit percentages I've exceeded that salary. So um, that is a, this is not just a, a full manifestation. This is a, I blew it out of the fucking water manifestation. So I'm really happy with that. I love being a mom. This is gonna go into the not quite yet, but on its way pile. I do love being a dog. Like I know like once I have like, like physical human children that, that I'm gonna be like an amazing mom and I'm gonna love it. But also like, I, I think I'm, I think I'm a pretty good like dog mom, horse mom, and I do love it. Um, this sheet is just my signature with my name, my first name and his last name. So this is when I was still manifesting marriage and I've got it. So that's in the full manifestation pile. <laughs> Derek's proposing to me this week and he did full manifestation. So this is why I don't take the old ones out because even when, even though there's like, what, like three or four things I haven't done yet, I haven't had a million dollar year. I haven't had a best selling book. Like all of the evidence of the things that I have manifested make me certain that these things that haven't fully manifested yet are going to. So that's why I'm really unbothered by it. Derek is so easily committed to me. This is like a self-concept manifestation. We're, we're married. I don't know how much more committed you can get than that. So that's going in the I manifested it pile. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this did and didn't happen. I've talked about this in other videos. So something that I did, um, gosh, so this has to be from, this has to be from 2019. This has to be from 2019. Cause I do these like at the, at the end of every year or the beginning of the next year. And, okay, anyway, you'll see why, what I'm saying in a second. But basically, 
I was so afraid that I wouldn't be able to manifest reconciliation that I tried to force it in the 3D by setting a deadline. So the, the, what I did was I came up with this like date of December 19th, where I was like, we're going to get married on December 19th, 2020. We're getting married on December 19th, 2020. And I started like scripting it. I started, you know, writing it. I was like affirming for it. And I even like started seeing that date pop up everywhere of like, literally I went and got groceries one day and like almost all of the grocery, almost all the grocery items in my cart that had expiration dates on them, the expiration date was 1219. It was the wildest freaking thing. Um, but we didn't actually get married on 1219. We got married the following July. So I had to ask myself, like, what am I really manifesting here? Am I manifesting us get like, having a wedding ceremony on a specific date or am I manifesting marriage? And I realized that it was the latter. I was manifesting marriage. So setting these like complete BS dates doesn't really serve you as much as just focusing on your true end state. Um, I always have more money than I need. This is one of my favorite affirmations and it's entirely true. No matter what goes wrong in life, like, you know, we our house flooded a few months ago we had insurance our insurance covered more than what we needed um re regardless of what goes wrong i always have more money than what i need for this situation and so that's a really great affirmation if y'all are not using it do it what is the next one? Oh, so my husband deployed in 2022 uh 2022 no 2021 he deployed um at the end of 2021 and he came back kind of later in the year in 2022 and this was one of my look at that derek is back safely from deployment and um he he made it back home safe you know that's obviously a really big important manifestation so oh this one's still coming we have a happy healthy rainbow baby and i'm we're making strides and i you know i try to like share enough so that when it happens you guys can celebrate that manifestation with me but not give too much information um so we're making strides y'all and i'm really excited for 2024 in the rainbow baby department this one my pregnancies are always so easy for me that same thing and oh this is funny um so i put x dollar bonus at work so i put this in two years ago of a very specific bonus that I wanted at work. And I missed the mark there that year. And just like with all of my other manifest manifestations, like you see, I missed the mark. I didn't react. I just like water off a duck's back. It's okay. Like I'm still manifesting my bonus, blah, blah, blah. And I got a bonus this year that is more than double that. More than double what I was hoping to manifest. And this is where like, I'm not, I don't want this video to be too much of like me teaching you a lesson as much as it's like just this little fun unboxing. But that's why I think it's so important to not react to the 3D where like you see the things that I have manifested greatly outnumbered the things that I haven't and the things that I haven't are making really great strides, you know, like my million dollar year, my hundred thousand subscribers, my rainbow baby. But in the meantime, I don't react to not having those things because I know that I already have them. My reality is just catching up with that re with that reality, with that truth, right? So I hope you enjoyed my unboxing. Um, typically, like I do this kind of towards the end of the year. So I think New Year's Eve, I'm going to sit down and make my my list and put in all of my new manifestations for 2024. And if you're still around this time next year, which I would love for you to be, then you can join me then to see which of those manifestations I got. Let me know if you guys were here for last year's unboxing. Um, okay, that's all I got. Bye friends.